Hi, I'm Brixinta. How did I get into the urban exploring and the supernatural? I'm bad at intros, so let's just get into it. <laughs> so I'm making some ASMR videos, but I forgot to tell you. Um, yes, this is my merch. Link in the description below. Get it. <laughs> Shameless plug. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I meant to say that in the intro and I forgot. I told you I'm bad at, at intros. <laughs> so surprise if you're not new here <laughs> and if you are new here hello and welcome um so this month has been a lot a lot a lot of filming and things like that I still need to catch you up on uh, where I left off in my previous podcasts if you will I guess um but I still have a little bit of emotions to work out throughout that December was a really bad month so I haven't caught you up since then but the supernatural and urban exploring how did I get into that so it kind of probably feels like it came out of nowhere but the reality is there are two things that have been part of my life pretty much my entire life and um I hit it hit hid h-i-d <laughs> and uh, words are hard um so with urban exploring I am somebody who was always interested about the world in general. Like I love traveling and from a really early age, like as soon as I heard about it in school traveling, I was super interested, super interested in different cultures, different places, different things, like just just interested in, in the world in general. I'm, I'm, I'm turning here. And so then when I got a little bit older, like high school, a little bit after high school as well, I started going on trips with friends but whenever we go on trips it was like to point a to point b and whenever we had to like make a pit stop to fill up i always wanted to like go explore but like we were going from point a to point b so there was never really any explore time but i really wanted to so and like it was like groups of people so there was no and there was like agendas so there was no like hey can we just like go off and do this um i think there might have been a couple of times that i was with just the right group of people that we did do that a little bit uh i don't really remember i feel like there probably was um but normally it was just point a to point b and then i started going on trips by myself and i love going on trips with people however going on trips by myself are pretty exciting because what happens is i also makes people mad because typically not typically there was a period of time I've had to figure out how to adjust because there was a period of time that I was kind of making people mad because I would go on a trip to visit somebody out of state or or like we were all meeting up out of state or, or usually to visit somebody out of state um, and we didn't really have a plan put in place of what we were going to do that day so it was just kind of like get here when you get here but it would also be like a, hey I'm leaving and so but like I would stop and explore and just get interested in the adventure and get lost in time or lose track of time and uh, since there was no real agenda that in the first day I would always just kind of be like oh, oh it's fine whatever and then it would make people mad because they're like we I've been waiting on you and I'm like I didn't tell you to wait on me I told you this is what I was doing um, <laughs> And so I would get there a lot later than what they thought, even though I told them that I was like off exploring something, whatever. Anyways, it caused some issues. And like when I would go, even in town, like people would be like, oh, be really careful, be safe. Like it would be like a point of like concern. And uh, there were places that I would want to go like that would, people would be like, just think we're creepy. Um, just like less known places like I love caves. I I love caves. I love um I just love like going to places that not a lot of people know about. I don't really like touristy things usually. And so when I do stuff, it's like a lot of times like abandoned places, caves, places that are potentially dangerous. I would never like go into like a situation where like something's going to collapse on me or there were sketchy people around like nothing like that. But like 
the people that I knew were creeped out by what I was doing and were very concerned. And so I just stopped telling people for the most part. And so I just would go off and do things by myself at cemeteries. I go to cemeteries sometimes too. And like that really creeps people out. And I'm just like, I'm not doing anything creepy. I just think it's interesting to like walk through and just think about like what people's lives were like and like who they were and think about like did they ever reach their dreams what their life looked like and like kind of use it as a time to self-reflect and like am I getting the things out of life that I want did they ever have an opportunity did they did they die in the war so that I could have the opportunity like just different things like that and um but like people again like think it's super creepy if you're walking through a graveyard so that one I really didn't tell people about but because people either got mad at me or were super concerned, I kind of just stopped telling people. So when I went on a trip, I would make sure to do all my exploring at the end of the trip, like leave a couple of days at the end and just like drive and see where I land. Um, and there was actually some times where I was going through some stuff and I would, I just took off. Like I didn't have anybody to answer to and um, I think I might have been living by myself. Like, normally if I lived with a roommate, I'm like, hey, I'll come, I'm coming back in a couple days, see you later. Um, like, I never, like, just, like, peaced out and everybody's like, where have you been? I'm concerned, you know? <laughs> but, like, I, there, I, there was, there's been some times where I just, like, start driving because I'm like, I need, I need, and <laughs> just see what I can find. And this ties into the supernatural because of the fact that uh, I feel things super deeply and like can feel spiritual and like physical even. Um, I've never been concerned because I know if I, f if I feel like I'm in danger, I don't go or, or I'm, I change my route. Um, so like that's never been a concern of mine. I went to Scotland by myself. Like I've been to Canada, but I did meet some, some people there, um, while I was there. I mean, I met, uh, I purposely met up with them. I knew them. Um, we hadn't met before. One was from a different country. They were both one was from can one anyways that's a whole different story but um so like i've traveled through the u.s by myself i've traveled to other countries by myself never been concerned and like normally don't really do touristy things when i was in scotland like i didn't talk about some of the things because the two things that i loved doing the most were the market tours uh exploring the underground vaults in edinburgh which was super creepy um but i loved it i didn't feel like it was creepy i just really liked it I, there was i've never felt so much peace in my life than when i was in, in those underground vaults it's super weird i know um but like again that's like why i didn't really talk about it much and then the the second my second most favorite thing was necropolis in glasgow which is graveyard and hill and that place was beautiful but again it's a cemetery so i didn't really talk about it um and I, like i just i've just done all, a lot of different things and um i i'm super interested in like the history museums and stuff like i like the like ones that are like kind of a mix of like there's a guide like talking you through some things but you can kind of do stuff on your own too um that way you get like a, a bit of history from the guide but that but you're not like confined to do whatever the group is doing um so and like again i like a lot of the lesser known things like the super touristy things i just typically are not really my thing um but again like it creeped people out and concerned people so i just really didn't talk about it and um i'll tell you why i started talking about it after i explained the supernatural side of things so then you have the supernatural side of things and that probably started happening when I was a kid. I don't remember my childhood, but like I remember one of the stories that my parents would tell me because they told me so many times of like, I didn't grow up going to church or like anything like that, any anything religious or spiritual or supernatural, none of that stuff. I didn't grow up with any of it, but I remember, I don't remember this, but my parents would tell me that I, I told mom or dad something he said some sort of weird comment to mom and i was like no making me was between mom and god and like how did i know about god when like we never went to church we never did anything spiritual never did anything religious i have no idea um so it was just like things like that would happen i'm sure there were plenty of stories that i just don't remember of supernatural things um and then like when i was in high school like i really felt connected and like 
to the spiritual side of things, but like didn't really know how to like, I didn't know what that meant. And I was super interested in church, but I didn't really know anything about it. And then, um, my had a friend that would invite me and I ended up, <laughs> I joined this church, but it was actually a cult. I didn't know it was a cult. I joined when I was 17 and I got out when I was 20. Yeah, that was interesting. But that's a story for another day. That was, yeah, it was really, it was, I left on my own will, but it was, it was really hard to get out. But anyways, that's a whole different, and I was in one of the more liberal ones, so I can't imagine what it would have been like. And anyways, so <laughs> the cult stories for another day. So, um, just even throughout the whole process, like I was super connected to like what I was feeling that like nobody could see or hear. Um, and sometimes like even hear things that like people couldn't hear. And then in like early twenties, I got involved in like this prayer group that was like super into like supernatural things like praying in tongues and, um, angels and the spirit realm and like seeing and hearing and prophesying and things like that. And something that I realized that I'm really strong in is prophecy and s discerning of spirits. So that basically just means that like, I've had a whole lot of instances where like, I will, a lot of times I like, I'm like, okay, God, what are you saying about this person? So I call it hearing from God, but like, or, or like, or I'll be like, okay, God, like what's going on in the spirit realm here? Most of the time nowadays, I don't ask that unless like I need to. <laughs> because it's exhausting otherwise so like just it's just like some such a natural part of who I am yes I had to grow in the gift but like it's such a natural part of who I am is like being able to walk in a room and be like okay what's going on spiritually here and being like okay there's a demon in that corner that's like causing confusion and that's why everybody's like acting insane like not not insane but like that's why everybody's acting like fools like whatever like no, it's just it's weird um I've got lots of stories that are coming up don't worry um or like I've been able to like talk to people and been like okay hey god what are you saying about this person and I've made so many people cry because it's like so spot on um and th and these are just things that are just like part of who I am part of like they're just like they're not they're not supernatural they are supernatural but they're not su it's just natural for me and uh, that's something that I've kind of had to learn that not everybody can handle it and I've really freaked some people out uh, which is why I hit it I did, didn't really talk about it until now uh, pop publicly at least um, because I had some friends who also believed in the supernatural and they they loved Jesus but like I would talk about some things that would happen with like spirit like demon demons angels spirits like different things like that and I would freak them out and I'm like what like I, it's just life like it just is like I don't know it's like living and dying and like hard things and easy things and like just like a normal part of life so to me like it was just normal life and I didn't even think twice about it and like realized that I can't talk about that with everybody because some people are freaked out by it and it's not okay or to them anyways and I'm like oh okay so I kind of shut down that as well and would kind of it's it's these two things are such a like the biggest parts of my life but I don't really talk about them I haven't really talked about them publicly because I was just so shut down because people thought I was creepy weird and they were concerned about me and but now but like um I'm starting to talk about them and starting to put out stories about my supernatural encounters and I'm starting to do urban exploring and bringing some people along with me um doing all that because in December, December was the absolute hardest month of my entire life. And I'm so, so thankful that I never have to re relive that again. But December 2023 was awful. Um, I'm glad it's 2024 now. And, but I was like at a point where I was just like discouraged, mad, and was kind of just losing hope and like didn't want to talk to God, even though like God's like such a huge part of my life. Like even when I'm mad, like turning to the supernatural is like where I go. Like it's my default and like, and I don't know how to be any other way. Like that is just such a huge, like it's just, it's like the same as breathing. Like it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know how else to explain it. But, um, 
but uh, I was just like losing hope and faith and just so discouraged and I probably because of Call Me Chris and Selena Spooky Boo is probably how Sam and Coley's videos started coming up on my YouTube but I remember the exact day because I was using my parents Disney Channel Plus and they dad was like I'm not gonna pay for it anymore and I was like okay no big deal I just I'll watch something else I'll use something else instead um and I was going through a really rough time so I was like I just need like videos or something so I was I went to YouTube and so it was December 18th because December 18th no December 19th because December 18th was the very last day we had Disney plus December 19th is when I went to YouTube and Sam and Colby videos popped up and I was just like normally I don't watch paranormal videos because they kind of put me on edge um but for some reason I watched this one I'm sure it was probably because of the Call Me Chris and Selena Spooky Boo collab they had just done because I have been watching I had watched that one and then like a one other one that they did I think a while back but uh that one was pretty recent and so Sam and Colby videos popped up and I started watching it and I was like oh this one's not putting me on edge in fact I find it quite fascinating and I just kind of went down this rabbit hole and I was like oh this is actually restoring my faith and giving me hope again and reminding me of who I really am um and like it just uh, that going down that rabbit hole stirred up like who I really am again and it was just like I don't want to hide this part of me anymore or I'm not going to I don't know <laughs> I don't know if I want to or not it, I was because it was a bit of a fight a bit of a fight to get to this point but um I was like I can't hide that part of me anymore I've wanted to be more open with you guys and I was hi I've had the two biggest sorry if you're in the UK I just flipped you off multiple times I think I'm sorry this is just peace sign no matter which way in America sorry 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 so sorry if you're in the UK and offended um but uh like these these urban explore like exploring things and uh the supernatural are the two absolute biggest parts that never have never changed throughout my entire life like they have been constant and s the biggest parts of my life and I've hid them from you guys um and most of my friends even most of my friends probably don't even know um because like there are some friends a few friends that I can tell absolutely anything to but like even one of those friends that I tell literally everything we have only known each other like a year and a half two years maybe um like didn't know this part of me it was kind of like huh um like not like she wasn't like offended or thrown off or anything like that but she was just like that's so interesting that I, di I didn't know this part of you and it's like such a big part of my life that it's crazy to me that I didn't tell her um I were to talk about it at all but uh I was so afraid of being looked at as creepy that I was like I can't tell anybody and I the, like going down the Sam and Colby rabbit hole it was just like I'm not I I am weird and I am sometimes creepy and like I it's okay to embrace that side or at least it's okay to like that people are gonna think I'm creepy because people are either gonna get it or they're not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sitting here trying to convince anybody of the supernatural I'm not sitting here trying to convince anybody that urban exploring is cool I'm I'm just who I am and um it, and some people are gonna think I'm creepy and that's okay and like that's another thing like there, I'm like the people pleasing runs deep man uh there's a lot of childhood trauma grew up with a narcissistic narcissistic mother who and like that like set the stage for like taking care of everybody else's needs and not ever having any of my own which meant people pleasing big time and I've worked through a lot of that but a biggest part of who I am is is exploring and supernatural and so now I'm like this is who I am at the core of my very being the depths of my being <laughs> this is who I am and it's something that I've never made content on because I was trying to people please I'm no longer people pleasing this is who I am here I am take me or leave me and I have a feeling things are about to get really crazy I don't know if I'm ready or not I'm trying to embrace everything that I just told you um but it's still this kind of like battle of like no I don't want to do that I don't want to go down that path I don't want to tell people like but like at the same time I'm like I know I'm gonna be so much freer like some crazy things are gonna happen but I know that's why I actually I'm gonna love it because that's where I thrive that's where I live that's where like the 
I come alive. Like that's where my biggest gifts lay. So <laughs> it just makes sense that I should do this, but it is an inner battle. Um, so get ready for a bumpy ride. I hope you're, you're going to enjoy it right along with me and embrace who you are <laughs> because who you are is an amazing person. And there are some people who need to see that side. And this is just as much for me as it is for you guys. Yes, this is my merch. Link in the description below. But I love you so much. Dream big. Take action. Bye!